What's good, everyone? Uh, before I get into any of these buffs and changes, I quickly want to just leave a little disclaimer. If you are new here, welcome, hello. Check the description down below. There is a link to a Google Sheet where I detail all of the uh, buffs and changes in the hack uh, in great detail. Uh, there's a Google Sheet right there. And most importantly, there is a little section here on the bottom called you can search the moves there. It's a little search all moves here, move guide thing. And uh, I have detailed every single move buffed and change because basically every single move is buffed or changed. That being said, I'm gonna be talking about Empoleon. Empoleon is gonna be probably the longest of the three in terms of how long it's gonna take to cover everything, probably just because of how different it is from how it used to be. Um, purely because uh, it's now a physical attacker and it has obviously incredible awesome abilities, which I'll get into, and awesome new moves to take advantage of those abilities and just all kinds of great stuff and he's super bulky and he's uh, so awesome i love empoleon um i love doTERRA obviously but empoleon's also super sick and it always really fucking irked me how goddamn uh specially oriented empoleon is because if you look at it it's design and in every read the uh pokedex and stuff it all talks about how he he has these horns, he swims as fast as a jet boat, his, the edges of his wings are sharp, he slices apart ice. People used his uh, wings, uh, its wings are a match for mastercrafted blades, it slices apart drifting ice, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, you know, it, it's also talking about like, uh, it'll decimate anything that threatens its pride, it avoids unnecessary disputes, hence why I also give it Ruthless, which is also similar to Defiant in terms of concept anyways, but uh, Primplup even, Word for word, it literally says, its wings deliver wicked blows that snap even the thickest of trees. I give every Ruthless Pokemon Wicked Blow anyways, for the most part, but that's like extra emphasis on to why it has Wicked Blow. It literally says word for word. Um, so why the fuck they were special attackers, I'll never know, and it's always bothered me. Um, if I wanted to be super realistic, they would probably be mixed attackers, maybe, um, to satisfy both parties, but there's not enough stat points for that. And uh, he has to be bulky as well, because look at my man. Um, so he also, the fact that he was more specially defensive was also fucking weird. He should be, uh, I mean, 101 special defense is great, but he needs more physical defense too. Look at him. So now he has excellent 84, 118, 101 bulk with access to reliable recovery and roost and all kinds of great utility like Feather Dance, Haze, Feather Ball, Aurora Beam, which drop uh, the offensive stats by minus one. Uh, Yawn, King Shield, which I gave because uh, not only is it an Emperor Pokemon, but also it's a Steel type, and it's kind of cool to give things King Shield now and then. And uh, it's really nice with stuff like Yawn and Roost and all that stuff. It's super great utility Pokemon. Uh, Parting Shot is huge. Uh, Taunt is really nice. You know, all this kinds of stuff. Bulk up, all this great stuff. Okay, so that's awesome for utility. And Polyon can fulfill a very nice defensive role because keep in mind in this ROM hack, you have access to uh, infinite use ability capsules and infinite and instantaneous EV training. So you can switch between your abilities and your EV spreads at will whenever you want. Um, and you should be taking advantage of that. So that's awesome. Okay. As for the abilities, both of them are incredible offensive abilities in Swift Swim and Ruthless. I already covered by Ruthless Fits, and obviously Swift Swim Fits talking about swimming as fast as a jet boat and stuff. Um, hell, another thing about the physical attack, I'm sorry, I'm still on this, but they gave him Defiant. It's like they knew that he should be physical attacking. Like, why did they? I don't know. It pisses me off, and I'm really happy that I can finally fix his stats and make him the GOAT because Empoleon's super cool. Um... So yeah, awesome Ruthless moves here. This is a massive 50% boost to his attack. Uh, already coming off a very good 116 base attack. It's super strong. Um, so you have these 50% crit moves. I acknowledge that Razor Shell is kind of a weird choice, but honestly, for some reason, it doesn't feel that weird to me. Obviously, I wouldn't give Ruthless uh, Razor Shell to like, actually all of these water types uh, fit Razor Shell, but like for, I don't know, random water type, fucking Trapedo. Like obviously that doesn't make any sense, but he has like the fin blades and stuff. So I think it fits well enough. A little bit weird, but who cares? He's not like Papa Uncle gets it. So why not? Um, and it's great for Ruthless, obviously, as well as Laceration for your dual stab, stop a cho uh, sorry, a Sculpt Lens or a Razor Claw on them. And you will always crit and those become 158 base power, 158 base power, super, super strong um, stuff right there. And then you also have Drill Peck, Drill Run, which I give because of the pointy trident head and the fact that they spin around and whatever it makes sense in my opinion. Also, I mean, it's a little bit of TM and Tutor move, so you can be a little bit more lenient with those. Um, Drill Peck, Drill Run, Night Slash, uh, and Jagged Edge are the coverage moves that he gets for 50% crit. Um, and those are pretty much right as soon as you evolve. And then later in the game, he gets access, well, he gets access to Finishing Blow and First Impression as well very early. Finishing Blow being a very good to be 80 base power move almost with ruthless without ruthless it's 52 base power um but the good thing about that is you can run swift swim with finishing blow as well and you can actually get a kill and get plus three attack and that's very strong if you are new here finishing blow does come from felstinger all of these new moves are 
um, detailed in the move guide. So if you don't know what something does, it's, it's as easy as just going to the move guide and control plus F and you find out what it does. It's really that easy, okay? Uh, first impression, super, super powerful. All kinds of Pokemon have first impression. Literally every single one of these Rootless Mons does, and then basically all physical attackers have it for the most part. So that's great for uh, Empoleon. Obviously, you know, strong priority. Obviously, he also has Aqua Jet and um, stuff still, which is really nice uh, with Swords Dance and also Woke Up. But obviously, the best option here is uh, for Ruthless is first impression. Uh, you also have Icebreaker, which is really cool. Icebreaker is a two turn move that is 315 base power with Ruthless. So you also have a Power Arb on that. You get a very powerful nuke, and that will always paralyze the opponent. It comes from Free Shock. So that will always paralyze the opponent. Very, 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 very nice to have right there. Um, and then uh, your best crit moves, which are late game, are Wicked Blow and Stone Edge for coverage, which are both 180 base power with Ruthless. And you don't need to, the beautiful part about these moves up, up here is that you don't need to hold a scope lens. So uh, with a scope lens, these will always crit, okay? But with these, you don't need a scope lens, okay? You don't need a scope lens, and that's awesome. So uh, Wicked Blow, Stone Edge for coverage, and then Surging Strikes is incredibly powerful as well. Um, that's just it really just an incredibly powerful move. Obviously, there's other water types like Crawdont and actually, is that the only other water type Ruthless Mon right now? I know like Armaldo has it. Oh, Kabutops. Yeah, that's right there. Kabutops has it as well. So yeah, a couple of searching strikes Ruthless Mons here and there'll be more uh, where that came from, of course. And most all of these are Wicked Blow, so because that's a much more generic move, you know. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Just a great defensive Pokemon and a great offensive Pokemon. The pre-evolutions also have just changed stats. I mean, Primplop is super tanky, mixed attacker, uh, great move pool, like I said. All kinds of great coverage moves um, here that you can see. I could go into every little nitty-gritty option, but that would take forever, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, for, I'll quickly say, like, Power Trip and Swift Swim is great. Swift Swim in general is incredible. You switch your ability, you switch your abilities around with the ability capsule. So essentially, you run Ruthless when you need the power, Swift Swim when you need the speed. Um, it's really that simple. 60 base speed with max speed investment outspeeds a lot of uh, pretty much everything in the hack. Um, you hit 438 speed um, with a neutral nature, and 438 outspeeds everything for the most part. So, I mean, there's a couple mods that outspeed you, but that's really fast. That's all you really need. So, yeah, that's about it. I'll leave it off there. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. There's a couple other really nice things like for coverage. You know, you got fighting and you know close combat, brave bird, all this fun stuff. But yeah. I'll leave it up there. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you like these buffs or changes. If you do, make sure you check it out in the description down below. Share it with a friend. Uh, definitely subscribe. I'm trying to get to 900 subs soon, so that'll be very helpful if you could. Maybe by the time you're listening to this, I already have it. Who knows? Um, but either way, subscribe. That'd be very helpful. And uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, thank you for listening. Goodbye.